What's up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood at Mank here, and welcome to another commentary. This one is on free-for-all. I think, I'm pretty sure this is the, the first free-for-all that we have on the channel. So, yay, big moment here. Uh, panic knife. Anyway, this gameplay is actually not mine. This is uh, a gameplay belonging to um, my friend Chris. His name is uh, Gamertag Flappy Nub. He's very awesome and very good at Call of Duty, and uh, he... He had this gameplay. I I needed a gameplay. I haven't really been playing too much Modern Warfare 3, so I needed to borrow a gameplay, and he was very kind and said I could use his. So thank you, Flappy, for your nubful gameplay. I actually, uh, that, that doesn't sound good, but I'm going to keep going with it because that's just the kind of guy that I am. Anyway, uh, the uh, for those of you who don't live under a rock and live in the U.S., uh, even though maybe some of you outside the U.S. even know that if you're watching this, but we have a election a primary, Republican primaries going on. So it, it, we've got all the different Republican candidates that want to run for president, basically fighting one another for a chance to run for president. It's kind of a weird system that we have going because we treat these things really seriously, and there's still no guarantee that these people will be president. They're just trying to uh, they're trying to get a chance to run for president, which. So many people might seem a little odd, but hey, it's that's America for you, America. Uh, anyway, I was another. The reason I wanted to make this commentary is because of the lack of decent candidates for the Republican Party. They're very bad. If you look at all of them, uh, they just they, they just they're so radically conservative. They're so anti-Obama. Uh, they just, I mean, the, we need someone who's in the middle. I mean, right right now we've got into a point where. We need a candidate that does not just side with the party, does not just agree with the party on everything. We need a candidate that might be for smaller government, but against abortion. Or uh, we, we might need a candidate that uh, supports big business, but also wants a health care system. I mean, it, it, right now we're too one side of the fence or, other, uh, or the other. And that, I think, is and because all the candidates in this election are on the one side of the fence, it makes all of them, in my opinion, really bad choices. Except maybe Ron Paul. Ron Paul is just insane, though, so don't vote Ron Paul. But uh, I was going to talk a little bit about Gingrich because he won South Carolina um, in the primaries a couple of days ago. And that is a big victory. Uh, he, that means that Romney does not get to throw all of his punches at Obama. He has to actually keep throwing them at uh, other Republicans. And the fact that this is over, I mean, it gives Obama a better chance. But I just won't really wanted to talk about how much Gingrich would, how bad of a president Gingrich would be, just because of his views being so radically conservative and so oh, just very bad and would be very bad and detrimental for this country. The fact that he wants to have child labor reestablished. He wants children that are over the age of 12 to be legally able to do work in factories and other types of hard labor situations instead of working in school. Now, he says this would boost the economy and it would also allow po impoverished families to basically make more money. But in my opinion, this is a very bad thing. And we're, we're going back to the industrial age. With this, I, I don't, I mean, I know he's conservative, but you don't want to be that conservative. I mean, things were not all daisies in the industrial age. In fact, it was a very bad time. There was crap everywhere. And I'm just not, I'm not saying that uh, figuratively. I mean that literally. Uh, but anyway, I just, oh, it's so bad. He's so bad. But then you also got Santorum, who is just the most, he's, he's anti, well, A, he's anti-gay marriage, which, okay, lots of Republicans are. But he's to the point where he wants to go out and ban and maybe even make it a criminal offense to be gay. He also wants to ban adult websites and do things with the, like, the thing, basically shut down a good part of the internet. He's for SOPA. And if you were watching, if you were watching this, I highly doubt you're for SOPA. Uh, I, I mean, there's just so much, so many people are against it now on the internet, and I'm right now preaching to a choir of people that are, uh, uh, very much anti sova but uh, I mean Santorum is just another bad choice but then you also got Romney who's in favor of throwing people that use medical marijuana because their life depends on it and their doctors in jail for about 10 years for 10 year sentences 
until uh, it's it just it's it's wrong. All these candidates are so bad, and that I mean, yes, you could say, well, that why am I not why am I bad uh, thinking bad about this? I mean, I'm more I'm more liberal, more left oriented, more liberal, and I should be supporting Obama. But I don't think Obama has been doing the best job ever, and I would be persuaded if under a good candidate to maybe go uh, more to the right. But it's just it's not it's just a bad situation we're in and it's just if a republican becomes president we're the, the u.s government is going to really i mean we're, we're if we're in a bad situation now i think it's going to get worse and o obama's yes he's taking his time and other people could probably do it faster than he is but uh just, if we had a republican president it would be even worse uh it just i'm not, I'm not even thinking about that but Guys, please tell me in the comments if you are following the elections, who you support, who you think is going to win, and do you think the Republicans even stand a chance against taking taking down Obama? Because that's something I'd really like to see from a poll uh, on YouTube. I I just I want to see what uh, where people, especially on YouTube, are actually leaning towards in terms of this, these elections. I, I find them really fascinating, even though I really don't like the candidates. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and peace out.